please. My boyfriend does not work at a movie theater. Welcome to Montrose Theaters. Oh, my God. My boyfriend works at a movie theater. This is so lame. Why wouldn't he tell me? Oh, I don't know. Maybe he had the crazy idea you would judge him. <sighs> Loser. Now, Bridget, come on. All work is noble. There you go, right through there. Look at this little bow tie. <laughs> date someone who works at the multiplex why can't he work somewhere cooler i don't know like at a music store or a bookstore carrie being serious here i gotta go i'll be at the food bridget why are you dressed like that must be casual sex day at school hey at least i get look good okay cupcake i think you missed the word under in underwear because i can see your bra and that slingshot you're wearing under your pants <laughs> It's a thong. It's floss. I can't wear anything else. Panty lines, hello. Panty lines. Ah! Hey, 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 no fighting. So close to the TV. <laughs> Carrie tried to cut a chunk out of my hair. Do you know how long it took me to grow up my bangs? Do you know how long it took me to pay for that TV? Okay, she cut my favorite jeans into shorts. Bridget, you're up. Okay, here's the thing. I'm working the pep squad car wash day and I have no clean shorts to wear. Well, none that look good on me anyways, and these are my jeans to begin with, which I gave to her because I'm generous! <laughs> well, when you explain it like that, you're buying Carrie new jeans. <laughs> totally unfair. Yeah, and Carrie, is Bridget's hair safe from that? All right, well, I was trying to run into Kyle. I was hoping he'd ask me the homecoming dance, but that's not gonna happen. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Oh, she's already going to homecoming with Dustin. Oh, my Bridget! <laughs> you already have a date? Well, yeah, but I could do a lot better. I mean, come on. <laughs> Let's turn around. Get them in all three colors. And that plaid shirt we were talking about goes with all of them. Quick, go back and change. It's getting hot in here. Hurt by happiness? Well, he is so wrong. You see all those clothes? Happy! <laughs> the car I'm gonna buy myself? So happy. The cool apartment loft I'm gonna get the second I turn 18? Out of control happy. Bridget? Yes, wake up, Daddy. You can't just snooze your life away. Up and at him, lazy bones. I don't wanna. But you promised to take me driving today. Uh, I didn't say as soon as it becomes today. I said sometime today. This is sometime. So is later, honey. It's Saturday. Just go downstairs and watch some cartoons. Now, come on. Come no. on. You said I need more practice for I can get my driver's license, so let's practice. You're already awake. Oh, that is so convenient. Okay, we'll go. Okay, I'll see you downstairs. What is your damage? God, you told me you wanted me to learn how to change the oil. Yes, you, not Kyle. Well, I was going to, but then he came over and he's all, you're doing it wrong. And I'm, I mean, you know, guys are. I'm like, shut up. And he's all, let me show you. I'm all, fine, you do it. I held the flashlight. I mean, you can't see anything without it. I don't believe you, Bridget. You really think that you can get through life on looks alone? <laughs> well, you, we've been going out for like two weeks. I've never had a girlfriend for two weeks. I believe in dreams. Last night I had a dream that you were with Lindsay and she was like all over you. And you were like all over her. But that was a dream. And, and I was at the movies last night. You can check. Call Kevin. No, call Tyler. It's too late, Kyle. You can't take back a dream. Details, please. Uh, last night, three parties, stayed up till 12.30. Tonight, we're gonna go to the dance and then an after party. I'm pushing for 2 a.m., personal best. <laughs> what about you? Last night, I had this dream that we were both in your truck, but I couldn't see you because I was wearing my Kate Spade sunglasses, which makes it really hard for me to see because the tint is just way too dark. I had the same dream. Oh, oh my God. God. What? For the look, how did Rory get rolled up in a carpet? <laughs> They put me in it for spying on them. Okay, you would not believe him. You did little chip. I don't want to hear it. Just get down here and unfurl your brother. <laughs> boo, boo one, boo two. All right, bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Paul. Okay, we'll be home by 11. Hold it. Now, Anthony, I know you're a gentleman and a scholar, but you best be in your rig because my daughters be grounded. Don't ask Cole. In front of like the coolest guy in the whole school. Oh, after what you just did to your little brother, the coolest guy. He's the coolest guy in your whole school. God, I'd hate to see the dorks. Okay, now, you have no reason to punish us. We left him a bowl of water. Out of reach. You could wriggle, lazy. All right, I want you up in your room. You're both grounded. What? You've officially destroyed my life. You know, you're like a life destroyer. I hate you. When we wore corsets and bustiers. No, they didn't. Really? Then how come mom has one? No, no she doesn't. 
anyways, if Kyle calls, tell him I have a headache and I can't come to the phone. You haven't told Kyle about Parker, Bridget? Well, I can't tell Kyle. He's my safety net. Oh, oh, Kyle's taking me shopping. Listen, if he asks where I was last night, do not mention I'm not with Parker, okay? Tell him I was over at Manny's watching Bring It On the Moon Tomorrow's for pizza. Wait, wait. Actually, make that the <laughs> make that the smoothie shack for a fro-yo. And, wait, I don't like Bring It On. It's so wrong. How about Duder's my car? So Enough! <laughs> I'm not lying for you. Is Mom here? Wait, wait. <laughs> She's not lying either, Bridget. You know, this is, you gotta stop. I mean, the, I, as, as much as it pains me to say this, even Kyle doesn't deserve this. So I think you need to tell him the truth. But I'm getting away with it. You need to tell him the truth. <laughs> hey, babe, ready to go? Yep. Bridget? Don't you have something to say to Kyle? <sighs> um, Kyle, we have to talk. What's up? I went on a date with Parker Jarvis. Parker, you did? Yes, but it wasn't serious at all. I break up with you. What? Yeah, I see where this is going, and I want credit for the breakup, so I break up with you first. <laughs> Later, Pop H. <laughs> see, doesn't the truth just feel better? Oh, come on. Kyle, why aren't you taking the tickets? I got a new job. I'm selling snowboards at Bare Naked Board and Skate. No, really? Let's take me shopping. Well, I would, but, uh... I thought we were still broken up for another 24 hours. Oh, yeah. Here's, here's a thought. You could say the whole thing was mutual. I'll say it if she'll say it. I'll say it if he'll say it. Well, are you really going to say it? Are you? Oh, for God's sake, I now pronounce you mutual. <laughs> you just told him I was in the bathroom? No, I didn't. Oh, wait, I did. Oh, my God, no one can know I used the bathroom. My life is ruined. Damage control. I have to do damage control. No calls, Bridget. Put the phone down. I've got a very important announcement for the whole family. Dad, priorities here, okay? If I don't get on this phone the next 10 minutes, people are going to think I actually used the bathroom. <laughs> Dad? I think she said she wants to go to Mall of America? <laughs> no. Listen, and the tragic thing was I was just shaving my legs. They do not get hairy. I was just shaving them. <laughs> Oh, I'll help, Mom. Oh. Obviously. What do you mean, obviously? Oh, come on, look around. What's that supposed to mean? Hello, here? Sore thumb. Go to the library? That's sore thumb. 